So over the weekend, I played my first ever Super Monkey Ball game. And although it was Banana Blitz HD, which I'm pretty sure a large portion of the Monkey Ball fandom outright despise, I still had a blast playing the game. And I'll definitely be checking out the original two Monkey Ball games when I get the chance. But if you've been following me in this channel for a while now, you should know that there's only one thing I enjoy just as much as trying out new games. Lost Media. So I thought, why not take my newfound love for Super Monkey Ball and combine it with my interest in Lost Media to make this video you're about to see now. Before we begin though, be sure to let me know in the comments section which is your favourite Super Monkey Ball game and why. Since I have a lot of catching up to do with this franchise, I obviously want to know which games are actually worth playing. And with that, let's get stuck right into the video. Back in the early to late 2000s, it was crucial that if you had a big video game coming out, it needed to have an interactive Flash-based website with all sorts of fun activities to do on it and bonus things to download such as wallpapers and screensavers. My favourite back in the day was always the Super Mario Sunshine website. It had you go around each of the site's pages, cleaning up the goop. Good luck accessing it on a modern computer though. Now, IIM friends clearly weren't slacking when it came to their promotional website, with the Super Monkey Ball 2 website appearing in early 2002. And can I just say, this is one of the most early 2000s things I've ever seen in my life. Just look at these monkey gifs dance. Man, I miss early web design. Now, one of the many gimmicks the Monkey Ball 2 website had was that back in 2003, they would release a brand new wallpaper every month that represented the month it was released in, as well as having a calendar showing the days of that month. This one here is the wallpaper for February, showing Ai going for a ski. And now's where the lost media aspect of the video comes in, because you see, there was a second variant of the February wallpaper with a different image of Ai skiing but only this low resolution image advertising the wallpaper exists. The actual wallpaper itself is currently not available anywhere online. And also, February obviously isn't the first month of the year. The January wallpaper is just gone with no images of it at all online. How will I make his new year's resolution now? The same goes for the couple months after February. March and April's wallpapers are completely gone, with nothing of their existence remaining online. The same can't be said for May, however, as its wallpaper is completely intact. It shows Ai picking up some clams on the beach, and I think there might be some sort of cultural barrier preventing me from understanding just why he's even doing this, because I swear this isn't a thing I've ever seen anybody do. Maybe I'm just dumb though. Out of all of the wallpapers we currently have access to, June is probably my favourite. It shows the entire Monkey Ball cast below a rainbow, and it's just so colourful. It reminds me of the Japanese Monkey Ball 2 box art. And yes, I know I said I'm a new Super Monkey Ball fan, but I've actually known of this franchise for a very long time. I just never got around to actually playing the games until now. July, August and September also have their wallpapers missing, but a description of August's wallpaper does actually exist. It states that the image shows Ai being suitable for the season, which perhaps suggests that Ai was likely wearing sunglasses in the artwork, or swim trunks, or something along those lines. The last wallpaper we have access to is the October one, showing Ai going for a bike ride, and of course, he's wearing a helmet. For a monkey, he sure is a good role model. Although the November and December wallpapers haven't been found yet, descriptions for them are available. The November one reads, In November, it's an Ai that takes a hot spring. Poor translation aside, this likely means the November wallpaper would have depicted Ai in a hot spring. Damn, we really are missing out on hot spring Ai. Just another reason we gotta sit and pray that someone out there has these wallpapers saved from back in the day and is able to share them with us all at some point soon. Lastly, the description of the two December wallpapers reads, Pay attention to the shape of Ai, likely implying that Ai and the gang were going to be dressed in some sort of Christmas related costumes. It's also speculated that this artwork here of the gang is related to the two Christmas wallpapers and may have appeared on one of them. To finish off, 
Here are the four Super Monkey Ball 2 wallpapers that exist in full resolution, meaning that there are 10 or more of these that are just completely lost at the minute. If you've been a Monkey Ball fan for a super long time and feel like you might have seen the others at some point, be sure to check your old hard drives and whatnot. You never know, you might just strike internet gold. I'm at least 99% sure that there are a bunch of people out there with the rest of these just sitting on their computers, not even knowing just what they have in their possession. So be sure to send this video to every Monkey Ball fan you know, just in case. Oh yeah, and I'd like to thank this guy on Twitter for being the person who brought this to everyone's attention and posted the existing four wallpapers. I would say your name, but I don't want to get this video age restricted or anything, so I'll just put your Twitter on screen now and put a link in the description. I'd also like to thank Technology Cookie for making the Lost Media wiki page on the wallpapers, compiling all the existing information known about the wallpapers into one simple page. I'll leave a link to that in the description too. And with that, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. I've been Cheesy Boy, and thank you for watching. Peace.